Hey there, it's Spencer from Folk Fungi. In this video, I'm going to guide you through creating your very own Martha Grow Tent, a popular and efficient method to grow a variety of mushrooms. Whether you're currently using a shotgun fruiting chamber and are looking for a bigger option, or even if you've never grown mushrooms before, a Martha Grow Tent is a great way to grow a ton of mushrooms at home. At the core of a Martha grow tent is, of course, the grow tent, and this is where your mushrooms will grow. Next, we have the ultrasonic humidifier, and this is going to create a really nice fine mist in our tent, boosting the humidity and helping our mushrooms thrive. This handy little device is called a humidity controller, and basically you plug your humidifier into this device and it will turn it on and off depending on what values you set the controller to. So you could set the minimum value of humidity to 80% and the maximum to 90%. And what this controller will do will turn on the humidifier whenever the humidity drops below 80 and turn it off whenever it goes above 90. And this control is really helpful for growing mushrooms. Another important component to growing mushrooms is adequate air exchange, and that's what we're going to use this fan for. Here I have a 6 inch model, but a 4 inch will work just fine. I accidentally bought the 6 inch model, but again, 4 inches is all you need for a tent of this size. Next we have a piece of filter and a clamp, and these we will add to the intake part of the fan which is really important because mushrooms produce a lot of spores and this filter will help keep those spores out of your fan and will keep your fan operating normally. This one is pretty straightforward. This is just a big drip tray that you're going to put your tent on. There's going to be a lot of humidity and moisture in your tent and you don't want that to get on your floors. This device is called a CO2 controller. And essentially, it is the same as the humidity controller in function, except that instead of controlling the humidifier, it controls the fan. So you can set minimum and maximum CO2 values and it will turn the fan on or off corresponding to those values. It is a little bit expensive and pretty optional. I got one of these off Facebook Marketplace for pretty cheap but you don't really need this to gauge the CO2 levels of your grow. You can actually observe the mushrooms themselves. But if you have this device or you can get one reasonably cheap or you can just afford to buy one outright, then it's not a bad little device to have in your grow tent. And lastly, we have a window kit for an air conditioner. And of course, we're not using this for an air conditioner. We are using this on our fan, so this kit will allow us to exhaust our fan out of a window. If you don't have a window, it's not a big deal, you can still set up a Martha tent, but if you do have a window, I suggest buying a window kit like this, or just buying some tubing and making your own little window kit. I am not super crafty in that way, so I just bought a window kit, and in my experience, exhausting your fan out of a window will make it a lot easier to keep the CO2 levels down and improve your air exchange. The first step is to read the instruction manual and build the tent. But there's a couple of considerations with a Martha tent. So with a Martha tent, you need your fan to sit on the top level. Traditionally, with a tent like this, you actually wouldn't have bars at the top level. So what you need to do is take the bars that would be on the second tier and install them on the top tier so you have space for your fan. Alternatively, you can take the bars from the very bottom tier to install on the top tier. And that means you'll be able to install another shelf on the second tier which will give you three shelves to grow mushrooms instead of just two. In my experience, I usually only need two, but if you're trying to grow as much mushrooms as possible, three shelves is a good idea, so I would advise doing this.
Next, we are going to install our filter and clamp, and we want to put it on the intake, not the exhaust of the fan. So this is the exhaust, and this is the intake, and that is where we are going to install our filter and clamp, which is going to keep all of those mushroom spores out of our fan so our fan can function properly. Next, put the fan on the top shelf and cover the metal frame with the plastic tent. So we need to actually cut a hole into the plastic to exhaust the fan at the back. So grab a sharpie and trace the inside hole of the exhaust as carefully as you can. With a pair of scissors, carefully trace the black hole that you drew on the plastic. And lastly, take the fan and pop it carefully through the hole. You'll notice that the hole is a little bit smaller than the fan, which means I kind of have to work it through a little bit, but it means that the suction is going to be really tight and there's not going to be any air loss. Next, you can place your drip tray underneath the tent structure. Next, put your humidifier full of water on the bottom shelf. Next, you'll want to hang your humidity sensor, which is part of the humidity controller, on the top tier. And this sensor will read the humidity in the tent, send that information to the controller, which you'll be able to read on the controller, and it will also allow the controller to act on that information accordingly. And then you'll just want to plug your humidifier into the controller and then set up your controller. So everyone's different, so I'm not going to go through the specifics of this model. But generally, with most mushrooms, you'll want to set the maximum humidity at 90 and the minimum at 80. If you have a CO2 controller, you'll want to hang the CO2 sensor, like so, on the top tier. And this sensor will determine the CO2 level, send that information to the CO2 controller, which you'll be able to read. And that information will allow the controller to act accordingly, turning the fan off or on. And then you'll want to plug your fan into your CO2 controller and then set the settings up. So different types of mushrooms require different levels of CO2. If you're growing oyster mushrooms, I like to keep the CO2 under 400 parts per million. So what I'll do is I'll set the minimum at 400 and then the maximum at 450. So the fan will turn on if the CO2 goes to 450 and then it will turn off if it goes to 400 or under. If you don't have a window to exhaust your tent out of, then you're good to go. You can turn your humidifier on cut open some blocks and put them in there and watch your mushrooms grow. If you do have a window to exhaust out of, then I'll show you the next steps. If you have a window kit, you're just going to want to set it up just like you were setting up an AC, so just follow the instructions. Here I have the plastic slider plate in the window, and then I'm going to set up the tube, and then I'm going to connect that tube to the exhaust of the fan, and I'm just going to use some tape to secure it. Now you're ready to grow mushrooms. So you can put your fruiting blocks or your trays into your tent. Here I am putting a couple of blue oyster mushroom blocks. And then you'll want to make sure your humidifier's on, your fan's on, and that your tent is in a space where it will receive some indirect sunlight because that's really important for mushrooms to grow. Music